All right, everybody, and welcome back to our second of three streams today. Um, we're going to have another Battle Royale squad stream. This time we're going to be pitting College of San Mateo up against West Shore Community College. Um, if you've watched some of our streams before, you'll actually remember that uh, College of San Mateo competed on Assembly yesterday, and West Shore Community College has actually competed on one of our Battle Royale streams earlier. Um, so it's really exciting to see schools coming back to be a part of these streams once again. Um, we're waiting a few minutes for the players to get in, so while we're waiting, I want to go ahead and tell everybody how the game's going to work out. What we're going to do is we're going to play three matches of four against four. Okay, there will be four players from each school competing against one another. The four players from West Shore Community College will remain the same throughout all three matches, and they will play different sets of uh, four from San Mateo uh, uh, College. Uh, College of San Mateo, sorry. And uh, I also want to mention, once again, if you haven't already, please head over to youtube.com slash brpclips and subscribe, because what you're going to see there is you're going to get to see highlight clips of how to improve your gameplay, you're going to see um, the projects of the week for kids who have really put together great stuff. And later on in the stream, I'll try to show one of those off if we have an opportunity to. There's also other really cool videos on there, um, stuff from outside of Black Rocket as well, um, like how to beat the final boss in Mario Maker 2, for example, and things like that. So keep an eye out there. There's new content going up all the time. It's really great to go check that out. Um, we are live. If you're not watching, if you're watching one of the embedded streams, um, BlackRocket. Uh, or twitch.tv slash blackrocket llc and that's where you can find us live we actually just uh received uh, we just hit affiliate so i want to thank everybody who's been a part of that and, and, and watch these streams it's only because you guys tune into these that we're able to get those kinds of um those things which is fantastic we really appreciate it um we also uh i want to uh remind everybody we do have weekend tournaments for assembly please check those out we also have um uh, we have a, uh, a sponsor. I want to thank Simply PHP for being a part of these streams. Um, if you ever need custom web-based coding, please choose Simply PHP. We have almost everybody ready. We're waiting on just one more player, I believe, to join into our match, and then we're actually going to get started real quick today, which is fantastic. Um, we're going to be playing again those four on fours. Whichever team, whichever school wins the most, we're going to play three matches, best two of three. Um, for those who do not know, for teachers, your uh, stream code, if you got that email, um, your stream code today to put in is Friday Rules. You need to put that in while the stream is going, so make sure you have the stream up, you're watching, and you put that code in while we're live. Um, we will also have another stream later today um, at 2.30, so lots of Battle Royale. Stick with us right here. You know, Don't go anywhere, just keep it up, and you will get an opportunity to see all of what happens today. Um, still got one more player we're waiting on. We, uh, let's see, anything else? That's that's about uh, all the all the business we need to take care of. I'll be curious to see, so these instructors have both done these streams with us before, so it'll be interesting. The kids might be different though, so we're going we're gonna to get an opportunity to really see, um, you know, maybe something's changed if they, if they adopt similar strategies. Plus, for those who don't know, if this is your first stream you're watching today, we did have one earlier, but if you're watching our first one this time, or if you've watched Battle Royale streams in the past, we actually have brand new areas, brand new sections of the map. We have uh, student sections are featured. So if you've taken a Black Rocket Battle Royale class before, your actually maps could be featured. Um, and if you are continuing to take one as the summer goes on, you could be featured in later maps. And I mean, this is just personal bias speaking or anything, but the maps that we've seen put in here have been absolutely incredible. There's been lava levels, there's been huge mountains, there's been destroyed uh, mines. Just the environment and the atmosphere these that, that people have been able to create in Unity from these students uh, is amazing. And so I want students to encourage you, continue to keep doing that, continue to put those out there because we are, uh, we're impressed. Um, certainly better than anything I've ever created. Um, so it's really exciting to uh, to do that. We're going to take a look at our seven players that are in and we'll hopefully get an opportunity, our eighth player will join while we are um, waiting. At, just like that, we did get our eighth player. So our players today, um, We'll, uh, we'll talk about who's on what team once we get started in the map. We have Tobe24, we have Slides, Default Cheap, Fort Ninja 470, Easy Money, Donut Head, Spooncer, Hedgehog, and we're going to get started with those players. Um, so remember they are, now despite the fact that they are on a team, they can damage each other. There is friendly fire. So we want to make sure that those players know that. Be careful where you're firing. You don't want to take out your own teammate. Because again, you're working together. Even if you're the first one eliminated, if your team is the last one standing, that's a victory right there. 
So we look at our map, you can see, um, if you've watched before, these are new. Like right there, there's a crazy looking um, Black Death Mountain area, um, which is really neat. That's interesting, it'll be interesting to see. Players are probably gonna have to build to get over that. Um, but that's really cool, that's a whole new area. Um, there's two giant yellow spires in the middle, kind of blocking what we can see behind that, but it looks like there's some three-sided dice floating around. Um, let's see, we got Tobe landing, let's see if the team's landed together. We got Tobe landing near, uh, slides, um, near Borden Ninja Donahas, Boonser, Hedgehog, Easy Money, Default Cheap. I'm trying to figure out, I know that Tobe, Slides, and Default Cheap are all from... Uh, West Shore uh, Community College, um, but I'm trying to figure out who their fourth team member is. We'll hopefully be able to figure that out right now. Looks like Fort Ninja, Donut Head, Spooncer, and Easy Money are on a team. So that probably makes Hedgehog our uh, extra person um, from West Shore. So we know our we'll know our teams. We'll get to know these four players really well. We'll see if they uh, how they do moving forward. There is a ton of wands. Now, the wands, I didn't get an opportunity to mention. I'll probably get an opportunity to talk about those as we go, but that's a pretty good cross-section that we see here of a lot of those wands. There is a just a plethora of them. We saw the the Crescent Moon wand. That's a very strong one. We saw that Heart wand. That one's also very strong. Um, looks like there might be a Tri... Yep, there's a Tri Crystal wand back that way. That's that purple diamond one with the star. That one's a very strong wand as well. So, oh. We can say that uh, College of San Mateo is going to be um, very strong. They're going to have a lot of good stuff getting ready for this, uh, for the confrontation we get. Um, we can check in and see what we got going on over this way. We've got a, uh, a Star Wand, which is a beam charge. Uh, we've got another Star Wand from Slides. Um, Spooncer running. Oh, here's a good one. We've got another, uh, we got a Claw Wand. This is going to be one of those, uh, a burst auto weapon. This one actually is very powerful if you can land those burst shots. Um, one of the surprisingly stronger weapons. Uh, right here we have, um, I'm not sure what one that is to be honest. Um, but we've got, it, it, the, the, uh, the players from, um, uh, West, uh, West Shore didn't have quite the, uh, the extreme choice that it looked like, uh, College of San Mateo got. So we'll keep an eye out, let's see, let's see if we can figure out where our teams are in relation to one another. Um, it looks like the, uh, the College of San Mateo team landed in that, that black, um, dark, mountainy area. Um, so we'll see, we'll use that in relation to where our other players might be. Um, we've got, uh, we're looking for, let's see, let's see if we can find one of them. Def Alright, here they are. Um, our team from, uh, West Shore, right outside. So our teams are close. We just need to, uh, they're gonna run into one, in uh, one another momentarily. Um, question just is, is who will be able to find that one straggler first? Um, it's looking like the team for West Shore is staying really tight together. They're, they're really grouped up. I can always see all four of them uh, grouped up. Whereas the team from uh, College of San Mateo is trying to more of a spread out, uh, a divide and conquer approach to the game, um, which is fine. You know, we don't know. Uh, the, this playing squads in Battle Royale for us is, is still pretty new, so it's hard to determine who uh, has the right strategy here. Right now, I can say that these players need to be running from the storm, because as you can see, that purple uh, fog sort of moving forward forward toward these players. Um, as players stand in that, they will take damage. Looks like they, a fight is happening. We caught in the background there when we were running away from the storm. Uh, looks like Slides is taking on... Uh, default Cheap. Uh, well, they took someone out. I'm going to guess that uh, that was a um, San Mateo player that was eliminated um, based on... The, uh, the groupings there. So we still have uh, uh, West Shore sticking together, Hedgehog uh, and uh, Slides, Default Cheap. Um, looks like they did lose Tobe. Um, so Tobe 24, so they're down to three um, players left. We got Fort Ninja, Spooncer, and Easy Money on the other side. So 3v3 right now, um, which, is, which is good. We're still even, so it means we traded at some point. Um, oop, we got some action happening out this way. Spooncer taking on a bunch of the players, and Spooncer gets taken down. So West Shore now up by one player, but it looks like we're gonna have a big confrontation across this gully right here. Um, Fort Ninja doesn't seem to have a, uh, a wand out right now. Players maybe looking for a better angle to take one another on. It looks like we're chasing someone around the back. Um, 
It's hard to say where. Uh, here we go. We have easy, easy money taking on slides, slides and easy money. It looks like neither both players still standing. Oh, easy money taking a big shot there, and easy money goes down. Slides with the elimination for his team. Uh. Four Ninja up on the rock above what was happening, or across the way from what was happening, maybe above. Looks like above. Um, so we still have uh, Slides and Hedgehog uh, left taking on Fort Ninja is the last remaining player for College of San Mateo. Oh, with the trickery with the hidden wand. Mm. Alright, it was eliminated. Uh, so it does that does mean that uh, with Slides and Hedgehog being the two remaining, that does mean West Shore is our champion for the first match. Um, those two players will go ahead and they'll take each other out real quick right now. Now that they have one, um, they'll finish each other off and we'll get started with our next match. Um, but that's a great first round. Kind of an example, um, if you watch the earlier stream too, what you can see is that sticking together in these, uh, in these squad matches is very, very crucial. You want to make sure that you're staying with your group because if you spread out too much, you're going to get jumped on. And even if you're uh, really strong at the game, trying to take on three, four players by yourself, really difficult. Um, so it's highly recommended that players kind of stay um, together. We're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, take a short break, get the room code set up for the next game. And then once we have done that, we will um, we'll jump back in. We'll, uh, I'll showcase the YouTube channel and we will then jump back into our second match after just a moment. All right, our lobby is set up and our players are joining in right now. In the meantime, again, I talk about our YouTube channel a lot, but I don't really often get an opportunity to show people what our YouTube channel is going to actually entail. And so what we can do is we can look over at our YouTube channel. We'll see that we have several playlists. We have our Battle Royale highlights. You'll see um, matches from today up in this playlist. We have assembly highlights. You'll see those from uh, yesterday and any other assembly stream we've had up to this point. Um, the one I really want to highlight right now is our projects of the week. Um, each week we choose students' projects who have been really, um, really impressive, really awesome, um, and we like to highlight those on our YouTube channel. So I'm going to choose one of those right now um, and have an opportunity to uh, take a look at what a player has created in our Minecraft Modders class. So as you can see in this class, players are given an opportunity, uh, or students are given an opportunity to um, really create and make Minecraft their own. You know, I know a lot of people probably really like Minecraft, um, and modding is a huge part of that. Um, as you can see, this player has set up uh, quite the TNT uh, uh, explosion there on the bottom and down there. Um, and in just a moment, we'll have an opportunity to see the fruits of that labor. And so you can see cool things like that, as well as any of the other things. Um, we're going to jump back over into our lobby now, see if our players are ready. Um, and then uh, we'll get started. Um, we're waiting on just one player, it looks like. we do. We, uh, as we mentioned before, we will see a lot of the same West Shore players. So we'll, once again, we'll see Hedgehog, Default, Sheep, Slides, and Tobe. Um, all those players are in. This time, our new players from College of San Mateo will be K Stella. Uh, Major, Chris DeBoss, and uh, we're waiting on their fourth teammate um, to join in. Um, so we'll see. We'll see if this time, you know, maybe after watching their their teammates in the first time, we'll watch and we'll see if uh, if if Chris, um, K Stella, and uh, uh, Major decide they want to, you know, stick together. Ah, here we go. Peng Peng. Peng Peng will be our uh, eighth group member right now. Um, and right now we have West Shore with uh, one point, um, and we'll see where we end up after this one. Ooh. Again, the play the creation, the, the detail these the play uh, students have put into these levels that are now in our build is uh, really impressive. I like the lake and the rowboat we have on this one. Um, we didn't get an opportunity to see this mountain uh, really utilized in the earlier stream. I'd love to see um, something happen there. Um, we've got the farm uh, village from before. We've got that uh, black mountainous area. I'm going to need to come up with a name for that um, because it's very distinct looking. Um, so it'll kind of be a lot of a landmark for us. We'll see if uh, uh, College of San Mateo chooses to land there again, and they do. Um, feeling more confident now that they know where the chests are going to be there. And especially because it looks like, once again, a huge chunk of wands spawning there. 
So that might be something to make a note of. It looks like there's a huge variety of wands that spawn in this area. Um, we'll check in with uh, West Shore. Looks like they landed in the desert area. Um, uh, checking out and seeing what we find over this way. Players gathering up their wands, finding out what they need. These four, as you can see, they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ish wands just right there on that screen, plus more. So it might take these players a little bit of time to find out exactly what they want. The advantage being, they're going to get that opportunity to choose the kinds of wands they want. Um, there are a lot of different types of wands in Battle Royale. There's charge wands, there's scatter wands, and orb, wa uh, orb wands, and full auto uh, burst. Um, there's a lot of different options. Um, to highlight some of the stronger ones, if we see a, uh, let's see if I can find a player who has got one of the, one of those really strong ones. Um, right here, you can actually see uh, the player with their arm out is not emoting, not just waving, but they are actually draining color from the objects. In battle royale, in order to harvest materials, what you need to do is you need to drain the color from the objects in order to build. That's what we see those players doing, gearing up for a bigger build battle, perhaps later. We see um, this purple pit. Uh, that I would advise players not probably fall in. I don't probably not a lot of great stuff down there. Um, these guys kind of watching one another, firing at one another, probably an accidental fire. Um, hurting your teammates isn't exactly gonna gonna help you out too much. Both teams just gearing up right now. You know, getting ready uh, to take on the other team. Um, I was mentioning those wands earlier. Some of the ones to look out for. I don't see a player with one out right now, but it could just be because they don't. They're in build mode. You can't see their wand necessarily if they're building. Um, you know, some of the ones that we were looking out for is we want to look out for a Crescent Moon Wand. That one will be a charge wand that shoots a big orb, which if that connects does a lot of damage. Um, and the other one that we want to look out for, there's a Tri-Crystal Wand, which is, uh, I'd mentioned earlier, is mentioned it, it hits a, um, a, a purple uh, diamond shape, um, which is like a charged scatter wand, which shoots out a charged um, firework, kind of short range right out of the front. Each individual uh, piece of magic doesn't do much damage, but all together, it can actually take a player out in a single shot. Um, so that's one of those really strong ones. Uh, we see it right there, actually, um, I believe. Uh, Hedgehog's looking at deciding to take it. I agree with that decision. A very strong one there. Uh, Major, uh, the teams are sticking together this time. We can definitely we can definitely tell that. Um, another one, this one, choosing to pass it up, up slides, does decide to take it. Again, this, you'll see players tend to like that one. That's a very strong one. Again, it can take out an enemy in one fully charged hit. The, the charged ones, however, can be a bit of a catch-22, um, or a double-edged sword. You can charge it up and you can do a lot of damage. The problem being is if you miss that shot, you're putting yourself in a, in a rough spot. Uh, all players in Battle Royale fire their wands based off of mana. That mana... Um, that mana is... Uh, uh, important because all the wands use the same type of mana. Mana refills over time. Unlike other Battle Royale games where you need to actually collect ammo for specific types of guns, you actually just recharge over time as time goes on. Um, uh, looks like we found ah Default Cheap and the other players for uh, West Shore Community College taking, taking shots and we see that uh, CSM is starting to build up. Ooh, Tobe goes down! Taking some of those heavy orb shots. K Stella, I believe, has been eliminated, but is stuck in place. Hedgehog firing. Major going. Major getting hit. Uh, we've got a handful of players left. Who do we got left? We got Chris DeVos left. Default cheap. Major slides. Uh oh. I think Chris DeVos might be. Uh, oh, we got Major. Major and Chris DeVos. Oh, Major goes down. So we have slides and default cheap versus Chris DeVos. Let's see what Chris can do. It looks like Chris. I think my Chris might have gotten taken down. Yep. So Slides and Default Cheap are our two players left. Um, they're gonna go ahead and eliminate one another uh, for us so we can get on to our next round as quickly as possible. Um, which does, uh, which is a, uh, a win then for um, West Shore Community College. We are still gonna play that third match uh, because I wanna give uh, College of San Mateo an opportunity to get that run back, get that win and get their victory, um, and get, their, get their teeth wet there. Um, it is, uh, I, I, I do want to say, all the teams, I liked that round. That round was great. I liked seeing all the teams kind of sticking together, working together as a group. Um, so I hope that we see more of that in just a moment because we're going to take a break while we get the next lobby set up um, and we'll return in just a moment. And we're back. We're waiting for the players to join into our lobby right now. Um, but I, once again, I wanted to talk about the different things that we have going on in the esports world because esports is a big thing that we do here 
um, at BlackRock, and we're one of the first. Uh, we're the first Black uh, esports league designed especially for kids. Um, so we like to do a lot of stuff around that. Um, if you ever want to get involved, either with Battle Royale or with Assembly, our games from yesterday, you can check it out at blackrocket.com slash esports. And both those games are available for free to play. Um, Assembly, you can actually play in your browser window. Uh, Battle Royale, you download and you can play. Uh, it is also free. You can actually use the same account to log into both. So if you enjoy one, definitely check out the other. Uh, we have weekend tournaments every weekend. So this weekend, um, starting at midnight tonight, you can start earning points for Assembly. And the winner, uh, whoever earns the most points in assembly over the weekend, actually is eligible, eligible, ooh, that was tough for me, eligible to win a prize, which is cool uh, and great. And I want to see everybody get involved. Um, my dream would be to see thousands of students involved in each weekend tournament. So that's what we want to see. I want to get that number as high as possible. So let's get everybody out there and get them involved. If you have friends who want to play, invite them to play as well. You can actually earn uh, bonus things inside assembly for inviting friends to come play as well. So get, it, get the word out there. Uh, for teachers, once again, if you've missed, if you didn't check the stream earlier, we do have uh, a, uh, our stream code for you is uh, Friday's Rule. Right? I think I wrote that down. Yeah, Friday Rules. Mm -hmm. Not Friday's Rule, Friday Rules. Um, our players are all in our match, so we're going to get started again right away. I want to go ahead and introduce our extra few players. Um, we have the, uh, our new players this time. We have Stealth uh, from College of San Mateo. We have Stealth Ninja. Derp Master, Collateral, and 99. Um, what we're gonna do is, uh, I also wanna, we're gonna start this matchup. I wanna recommend um, that uh, players uh, try building. Our building is, uh, you know, earlier today we had a Spartan match where we didn't have that, that ability to build. So we've seen a little bit of the building. I've seen like one wall pop up. But what I really wanna see is I would love to see players this round, you know, build up. Maybe we can get like a sky-based battle going. Those are really exciting when we can see that happen. Um, get both teams really up there. Uh, we've got the lava level, uh, love or lava area. Love that one. That one's awesome looking. Um, we've got that tree grove with the hole in the middle. Um, that was a popular one from uh, a stream earlier today. We've got the center area with these two very tall, maxed out yellow pillars. We've got a, uh, a ruins kind of castle looking area. Ooh, and it looks like I wonder if both teams went lava. Let's see. Um, Slides choosing not to land near his team, um, but Default Sheep and uh, Hedgehog uh, and um, Tobe all in the, the lava area. Let's see, um, looks like Dirt Master down in the Grove, Stealth Ninja and Collateral out in the Black Mountainous area that I didn't come up with a better name for. And yeah, that's where we're moving on. Um, again, these, this team has figured out that that is where a good number of items spawn. So we see three of them here. It looks like each team had one player break off somewhere different. I don't know if that was a concerted um, effort from either squad, but but both team had somebody go somebody somewhere different. Um, let's see. So slides out here in the graveyard area. I'm not sure how close that is to the lava. He's close. He's dangerously close to CSM. So hopefully slides is on his toes because he he could get uh, he could get picked off just on the other side of that those black walls. 99 looking for a better wand. Um, Dirt Master chasing people down. He sees three people. Uh, does he have a teammate with him? No. Dirt Master deciding that he's going to go ahead and take on all of uh, most of West Shore Community College on his own. Uh, we'll see if that that strategy pays off. Total confidence in his skills. Uh, let's see if we can get where um, somebody from West Shore, Tobe, probably has alerted. It. Their team must be aware at this point that that's going on. Tobe, Hedgehog, Default Chief. You're gonna let, uh, it looks like they're going to let him leave. Maybe fearing that they're going to get... Um, uh, that there might be a trap, you know, maybe that player uh, is is uh, trying to uh, bait them into chasing them only to get damaged. Ooh, here's the two players who broke off, it looks like ran into one another. Slides and, um, Slides and 99. I want to find Slides again. Ugh, Slides, alright. Both these players probably recharging their mana. If you see players stop firing like that, it's probably because they're waiting for their mana to recharge. It looks like Slides is eliminated. Um, so that's one player down for West Shore, um, meaning it is four on three left here. 99 with the elimination there. Um, we got, uh, so Default Sheep and uh, Hedgehog and Tobe, all the ones who stayed together still alive. Um, all of them with, uh, well, two of them with the same color hair, which sort of helps me out a little bit. I wonder if anyone else kind of got that same thing. We got Dirt Master the Snake. 
firing down there, it, it those shots look like they're landing, but only from Derp's perspective. If you actually watch, um, let's see if I can grab one of those players. Uh, actually, they're going pretty far, a lot further than I thought. Um, I'm not sure if that has changed recently, but usually those those uh, projectiles don't actually go as far as it, it might look like. Um, that does mean those players are aware that he's up in that volcano. Um, so they might now uh, focus up, grab their better wands, turn around, and go after him. Uh, let's see, does he have anybody uh, with him, is there, or is it just going to be Derp Master? Uh, Derp looking like he's going to go try to find his, uh, his teammate Collateral. You know, let them know, hey, I found the enemy. We got a, we got a problem. We got to go take care of it. Stealth Ninja, same thing. They're all going to go work together. I still don't see a lot of building. I still want to see some players maybe build like, you know, you've got that black mountainous, black and green, I guess on the outside, mountainous area. They could actually be using that as a good sense of cover. You know, you can build your staircase up and fire down over that. You want to have a high ground in a battle royale game. Um, if you're too low to the ground, you're going to... Uh, high ground is always good in these kinds of games. This, this is what you want to have. It gives you a better angle to fire, more surface area to hit. Um, these play Ah, oh, here we go. And just like that, we got collateral building up. Um, doing the, the classic uh, strategy from Fortnite where you build the wall to protect yourself from the sides while you're building up your ramp. Um, always a good idea. You never want to get uh, surprised from a side you're not looking. We'll keep an eye on collateral here because I like, I like that they're building. I like this strategy. And we're getting up there. Um, there is no fall damage in, in our Battle Royale. So you actually can be safe um, that high. And just like that, you see, we can see this collateral is able to um, peek down and see those players. Stealth Ninja up there on the bridge with him. Their other teammate, um, Derp, is joining them in a moment, coming up that ramp. Now we can check in with our other team. Uh, Tobe can see where they're firing. There you go. That's a There's a perfect example of how far those projectiles go. Look like they're going all the way. They're firing those orb wands. But both players, as you can see, nothing quite reaching. They were able to shoot down the wall, uh, the, the, the ramp, and now everybody's down. Here we go. This is what we've been waiting for. We want this confrontation. Tobe taking on Stealth Ninja. Stealth Ninja eliminating Tobe. We got Hedgehog and Default Cheap uh, uninterested, apparently, in helping their teammate. Choosing rather to look at the wands and, and go in later. You know, get what you need. Collateral using that high ground, using that building we were talking about. Ready to go. Firing their orb from the safety of where they know they can't be shot through that floor. The, shore, the floor can be shot out from under them, but they're safe otherwise. Alright. Stealth Ninja also uh, poking around down there by the teammate's ramp. That's being fired at. Um, Hedgehog firing at uh, Dirt Master. We got any Hedgehog eliminating Dirt Master. There, as you can see, um, the structures, unlike in Fortnite, they don't fall if there's no ground underneath them. You actually have to fire at the correct string. Hedgehog taken down by Stealth Ninja. Um, which just leaves... That means that's it. There we go. College of San Mateo wins that round with only Stealth Ninja and Collateral still remaining. Um, so, College of San Mateo is able to get that last bit of um, glory and they are able to redeem and get that point. Um, it does mean that, that West Shore uh, does win 2-1, to one, but it was still an excellent match. Um, I'm thrilled that I had an opportunity to commentate this, be a part of it, see these players get out there, um, especially that last bit round. Loved seeing the teams go with some building. Really liked seeing that happen. Um, once again, I want to thank our sponsor, Simply PHP, for all your web -based, uh, custom web-based coding needs. Use Simply PHP. If you want, you can check us out uh, live again at 2.30 here, twitch.tv slash BlackRocketLLC. If you want to play any of our esports, blackrock.com slash esports, you can play either Assembly or Battle Royale. We have a weekend tournament for Assembly starting shortly, so check that out, get those points, win those prizes. We also, uh, I also want to mention that we have, uh, I, don't, I don't remember if I mentioned our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash brpclips. I showed it off earlier. Check it out, subscribe. New stuff goes up there all the time. There will be a video up either today or tomorrow just about this already. Um, so every day, check that out. New stuff happening all the time. And again, we will be back at 2.30. So come on back, check us out. We got another two schools ready to go, ready to compete. And I'm excited to see what happens there. And we will see you then.